Hi, my name is Kelsey Backstrom and I'm the personal trainer down at Zap Fitness Glenelg. Today I'm going to be taking you through a few core and glute exercises you should do before exercising. It's important to activate the glutes and core prior to exercise as they help protect the spine, create stability, improve posture and can improve overall performance. Activating these muscles will not only help in the gym but they'll also help in everyday life. The first exercise I'm going to show you is how to find your neutral spine as well as activate the transverse abdominis. So we're going to start off sitting on the floor with our knees at a 90 degree angle and what we're going to do is we're going to lay down and we don't want to be super arched nor do we want to be rounded. We kind of want that sweet spot so what we're going to do is just some flexion and extension until we find that right spot. So it should be somewhere in the middle there and as we get into that spot you should feel this lower part of the abdominals light up. Now what we're going to do once we're in this position is we're going to lift our legs up to a tabletop position while maintaining that neutral spine and we're just going to draw this leg down, touch the floor and come back up. And we want to do about eight reps on each side, just maintaining that neutral spine. So the next exercise we're going to do to activate the core is a plank. So what we're going to do for the plank is we're going to come up into the tabletop position and it's very similar to the position we were in before. We don't want to be arched but we don't want to be rounded. We kind of want to find that sweet spot. So once we've found that sweet spot, we should have a nice tight feeling in our lower abdominals there. And what we're going to do is we're going to step out with one foot, come into the plank position. There should be no pressure on your lower back and you just want to hold this for around 10 to 20 seconds and then repeat three times. So the next exercise we're going to do is going to activate the glutes. It's called a banded lateral walk and actually works all three of the glute muscles. So the gluteus maximus, medius and minimus. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our resistance band and we're going to wrap it just above the knees. So not too low and not too high. So about there, we're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart, bend down into our squat position. And we're just going to do tiny little steps off to the side, about six on each side. And you should really feel this starting to get into the glutes and wake up those muscles. So the next exercise we're going to do to activate the glutes is a cable kick back. Step about two feet apart and then what we're going to do is have a slight bend in one knee and then just kick that leg back and slowly bringing it back, fighting against the resistance. So the last exercise we're going to do to activate the glutes is called a hip thrust and this is really great if you don't have a resistance band or a cable machine handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down, knees at 90 and we're going to put our hands to the sides, press through the heels, lift up the hips and really squeeze those glutes at the top. And then we're going to lower, just touching the ground and then shoot back up really squeezing those glutes nice and slow and controlled as well so those glutes really kick in and activate. If you know someone that would benefit from this video, please feel free to share it with them and leave any questions for us on Facebook.